Hi, I'm Matt Williamson with Yard Barker here to talk about the Cardinals going to Seattle to take on the Seahawks. Should be an excellent Thursday night game. Really looking forward to it. Along with the Rams, these two teams are now tied atop the NFC West, both at six and three. But Seattle's lost two in a row, and the, the Cardinals should be riding high after their amazing, you know, Hail Murray victory over the Bills. So there should be a lot of momentum, a lot of energy with this team. Uh, Murray is coming on very strong and now finding himself in the MVT, MVP discussion while Russell Wilson's kind of trending the other way. Uh, the Seahawks safeties and linebackers should really have a tough time containing Murray as a runner. And the Seahawks cornerback depth will be challenged against the Cardinals receiver. Of course, that starts with DeAndre Hopkins, of course. Uh, Arizona's red zone offense has also been excellent this year. Seattle's 15 takeaways, though, on has really been this defense's only saving grace. The, the Seahawks are allowing 6.1 yards per play. Only three defenses are worse. They have also been really bad on third downs. So lots of problems with the Seattle defense. Um, Russell Wilson is an amazing quarterback, and he's been, but he has certainly been struggling by late, of late by his standards and isn't getting a lot of help. Not only is Wilson turning the ball over far too much of late, but Seattle's allowing too many sacks as well, too many negative plays. Um, Wilson's been amazing on early downs this year, but quite the opposite on third downs. Um, can Patrick Peterson put the clamps on DK Metcalf in a similar manner to what Ramsey did to Metcalf last week? Probably not to that degree, but if so, it really leaves Wilson light on weapons, and Tyler Lockett isn't even guaranteed to play in this game. Um, Seattle's red zone offense has been far and away the best in the league, but the, C the Cardinals defense has been pretty darn good in this capacity as well. Um, Seattle's opponents always run a high number of offensive plays and in general games, these two teams play run a lot of collective snaps. There could be a lot of out offensive output in this game. A lot of snaps run. Uh, the Cardinals and Seahawks both average 6.3 yards per play on offense. Only the Minnesota Vikings are better, but Seattle is scoring more points per game than any team in the league. Uh, the Cardinals have had very bad starting field position this year, while Seattle has been great on special teams. Um, the Seahawks are at home on a short week, and I always bet on, you know, always favor the home team on Thursday nights in particular. And I'm betting on Wilson and Pete Carroll to figure out how to get a much needed win, but they're in a little bit of a scary spot right now. Give me Seattle 32, Arizona 28. Thanks so much. I am Matt Williamson with Yardbark.